that I could have a conversation with him, that he could be here with me, that he could have chosen me. Trying to get a guy to commit or trying to see where things go, I indulged in hookup culture. Why am I not good enough to date? If you want to hook up with me, why do you not want to date me? And then it's like, is it my personality? Am I that unsufferable? When I tell people that I've never officially been on a date with someone, they don't believe me. But to me, a date is like actually going to a nice restaurant that someone's planned. And I've never had that. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not doing something right. <laughs> if you do not want to be with her, just don't. When I was little, I really didn't think it was going to be this hard to find someone. When, like, I don't know, I don't know how to fix this. I just want a family. I had to come to terms with knowing that I'm not a woman that men commit to or love. They want, but I've never had any big romantic gestures. So it happened again. I had a date cancel on me. And I got stood up. And I have been stood up. I know I deserve better. But he was that person for me. Stop fucking ghosting. And I'm tired of being single. And I'm not capable to find someone who is uh, able to get in interested in me, in myself, for a long time. I don't know. It's only about superficiality, uh, relationships. If we required commitment before sex, we would have more relationships. I don't even condone drink dates. As a man, societally, he gets paid more. And it's time that he has more of because he's not doing hair, makeup, and shaving his legs. I, I would love to know. What do we need y'all for? Women don't need men in order to make money to provide for themselves or take care of themselves. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls don't cry over a boy in a car. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls don't need a boy. I'm so sick of this. Like, I'm so sick of not feeling like a priority to you. I need somebody to have my back. I do, I'm admitting it. I could say I'm a strong, independent woman that doesn't need no man, but I am saying, I want a man and I need a man. But every single time this happens, I always tell myself like, oh, you'll get over it. Or like, you're over him. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? I, I haven't blocked his number and he hasn't texted me since he ghosted me. <laughs> he hasn't, not once. He he ghosted me once and then he ghosted me twice. The second time before he ghosted me, he's like, I want to make it up to you. I want to take you out on a date. I can't stop thinking about you. You did nothing wrong. As he comes back into the car, he tells me, I don't think we're going to have a good time. And I thought he was kidding. And I'm like, huh? He's like, I'm taking you back home. You're not my type. Oh my God. I, I'm sure it's because I'm overweight that he didn't want to go like continue the date or whatever and i'm just like wow like it was so fucking awkward but people don't just want to date me in my day-to-day -day life like if he was actually interested then the date probably would have gone better you know like this is our second date and he's not once told me that i was pretty or that i looked nice and he doesn't like ask me questions about myself and i know that the answer is he's just not interested like i i'm aware of that but like neither is anybody else and at some point i don't want to be single